Hey everybody, back in Hong Kong after a week in Europe, I have a bunch of packages to unbox. I have here the Elephone S8, it's an engineering sample, so not even the final production unit yet. And I have a new Doogie Mix, the new uh, Silver Edition. So just a quick look at the Doogie. Same phones before, except it's uh, shinier now. I do like that the Doogie feels quite um, comfortable in the hand because it's a smaller 5.5 inch screen compared to the Xiaomi Mi Mix or the Maze Alpha. But you know, since I already um, reviewed and covered the Doogie Mix, I'll, I'll do this later. I have too many other products to to test right now because I'm going to be getting Xiaomi's uh, Mi Mix 2 very soon too. So let's just focus on the Elephone S8 for now because this is the new phone. So engineering sample. I just got the package today. I it is a uh, one thirty p.m. right now. I just landed back in Hong Kong at six a.m. I was in Berlin and Amsterdam for the LG V thirty launch. So okay, so this probably won't be the final retail packaging because this is um a you know pre production unit basically. Okay, the blue it's like that. HTC U Ultra Blue. Let's check out the rest of the box first. So the Elephone S7, if you remember, was like a clone of the Samsung Galaxy S7. So I thought the S8 would be a version of that too, with the, with the 18 by 9 aspect ratio, but instead it's just another Xiaomi Mi Mix uh, clone. Nice. So you get a case. It's a flimsy rubber one, though not a. Not like a hard shell one. So you get a case. Earphones? Nope. Power adapter. Okay. Oh, there's no headphone jack on this? There is no headphone jack. Okay, so this is USB-C. You plug in to listen to... Um, Plug in your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here. And the USB. Oh, I like the, the cable, the little blue tint. I wonder if this matches the phone. Like, so you get a different color, it might come in a different color. But okay. And a SIM ejector tool. So no screen protector, unlike most of the Chinese phone. But th maybe there will be one in the final retail unit. This is a pre production unit. So. Let's compare the devices really quick. Let me get out my Maze Alpha and my Xiaomi Mi Mix. So here's the Xiaomi Mi Mix. Okay, here's the Maze Alpha. I'm gonna pop the device too. So as you can see, the top, you can see the bezel very clearly. So it's not like the Xiaomi Mi Mix where there's like almost nothing here. This is this is a screen protector thing, so ignore this. Yeah, so you notice on the Mi Mix how slim it is. So the Elephone S8, it's like all the other Mi Mix clones out there. This is the Maze Alpha, so. So this is the Maze Alpha next to the Mi, the Elephone S8. Pretty similar in terms of bezels. Ooh, but the Elephone SA has much smaller bottom bezel. In fact, let me take out let me take out that Doogie Mix. I will do an official unboxing of the Doogie Mix again later. But so this is the Doogie Mix. Okay, so props to Elephone. They got the be bottom bezel a bit smaller than Doogie. And a lot smaller than the Maze Alpha. So putting this side by side with the Maze Alpha, I I think it's a bit weird that um if you look at the phone, this end is thinner than this end. So so right here it's pretty thin, but right here it slopes up a bit. I think it's to make room for the camera, but there's still a camera bump, so I don't know what the deal is. So the Doogie Mix is a better build overall. I like the dual camera modules on the back better because it's more clean. Maze Alpha looks pretty good too. I mean, these two phones just look so similar. These Chinese phones are just 
like it's like they all all the factories are like right next to each other or something so they just like send spies to each other and just copy each other's shit so but the problem with the Doogie Mix if you see my review is that it only has a 720p display and the Maze Alpha has a 1080p which is good enough I think 1080p is good enough but the Elephone S8 what makes it special is it has a 2k quad HD display so yeah I just pulled up the stats here let me So the iPhone S8 runs Android 7.1, Helio X25, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gig storage, 2560 by 1440 uh, resolution. I'll, I, I will check the phone myself obviously later when I get to play with it for a bit, but this is just, you know, the first look at this. To be honest though, I, I'm one of those people who can't quite tell the difference between a 2K resolution and 1080p. So my Xiaomi Mi Mix is only 1080p, but if I put the two phones side by side, it's not like I can see, oh, the 2K looks better. But anyway, just a very quick look at the iPhone S8. It feels pretty good in the hand. The screen is, how big is the screen? Same size as the Maze Alpha, so six inch. The Xiaomi Mi Mix is a 6.3 and the Maze Alpha is 5.5, so that's why it's so much smaller. But props to Elephone for getting the bottom bezel so small. So I will play around with this phone for a bit and I will come back with a more hands-on video. And hey everybody, I'm back. So I played with this phone for all day. Um, so let's just get right to it. So first of all, this phone has a really um, different take on the Android navigation experience. So there is no software buttons at all. This is different from the Xiaomi Mi Mix, the Maze Alpha, and you know, and any other um, budget bezel-less phones I've tried. So how you how you get around is you so you tap the button to go back. You long press the button to bring up an overview. So then to go home, you double tap on it. So it's um, kind of a clever way to get around having navigation buttons or on-screen buttons take up space. Because you know, like on the Maze Alpha, for example, so there's a row of buttons that you can hide, but you want to get around, you have to use these buttons, mostly. There is a way to back out of stuff to use this button, but you can't bring up overview or any of that. And So that means this huge bezel, it's mostly wasted. It's just for the fingerprint scanner that doesn't really do anything. So I like that, at least with the Elephone S8. They put a bezel here in the fingerprint reader, but you can use it to completely get around the phone. You don't have to waste more screen real estate with buttons. So looking at specs, this phone actually has pretty good specs compared to, you know, the Maze Alpha and the Doogie Mix. So first of all, this phone runs a Helio X20 chip. So the X series is Helio's top of the line chip. The X20 is not the newest one. It came out last year, but that means at least it's still in the, in the flagship chipset series, whereas on the Maze Alpha and the Doogie Mix, it's only a Helio P series, so not as good. So, um, X20 chip. So the resolution, it's a Quad HD display, 2K resolution. So that, again, beats the Maze Alpha, which is only 1080p, or the Doogie Mix, which is only 720p. So there's only uh, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of onboard storage, and... There's only one battery on the back. Good for Elephone, man. I, I'm, I just feel like these budget Chinese phones, they try to put a second camera in there just because everyone else has it, but the second camera is mostly useless. So I tested the camera today, and photos actually pretty good. For a budget device, it's really good, actually. It's, it's better than the camera on the Mace Alpha and on the, on the Doogie Mix, definitely. So um, the one thing is the camera is really, really slow to focus, but when it does focus, shots turn out quite nice and detailed. Even in low light, which is what Chinese phones usually struggle with, I think the Elephone S8 does quite a good job. The colors are a little bit, mute, um, not as punchy, but they are mostly accurate. It's not too warm or too cool. Dynamic range is, it's okay. So this is a solid camera for a phone of this price. So I ran this phone on Geekbench just to check. It scored a 1743 single core 4202 multi-core. That's pretty good. 4202 multi-core. You know, it's better 
almost as good as a OnePlus 3. Better than a Samsung Galaxy S7. So not bad for a phone that's 240 bucks. So the software experience so far is mostly clean. This is that same almost stock Android look that is found in a lot of the budget Chinese devices. There are not a lot of them. I wish there were more like gestures and shortcuts though, because you look into it. So that's all you can do. You can double tap on the power button to turn on the camera. You know, three fingers swipe to get a screenshot. Two fingers to adjust volume. I wish there was a way to double tap on the screen to turn on and off. Or maybe draw a circle to turn on the camera, which you could do on, on the Mace Alpha and, and the Doogie Mix. Okay, so let's check out the screen for media. Let me turn off the volume a little bit. So the speaker gets decent loud. The sound is a little bit distorted right now. So let me step out to the living room. So the bezels around the screen, it's it's not bad. It's not as thick as on the on the Doogie back. Mix, I think. So uh, that's it for now. I, I have like too many phones on me right now to, to really spend too much time with one. I'm getting the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 tomorrow. I'm quite excited about that. So I, I'll be back with a review in maybe a week or two. There's just too much stuff to review right now. So I have this, the Umi Digi S2, which is a like a clone of the Samsung Galaxy S8 with that 18 by 9 I have the new Doogie Mix Silver Edition. So just a lot of stuff, but Elephone S8 so far very impressive. Quad HD display on a budget device that's under 250 bucks. These Chinese companies, man, like they're just offering such good values. All right, thanks for watching.